we still keep, you know, most of the kinematics, all of the velocities, the full ability to move in 3D space. My interest is in movies as an engulfing, immersive experience where the audience gets to actually enter into the movie, become part of the movie. We're giving the human physiological senses, our, our ears, our eyes, uh, our bodies, much more information, and that draws us into the movie like a real experience. Barriers between you and what's on the screen are, are going away. Dark Trumbull's work can be seen in feature films and theme park rides like Back to the Future. His challenge is to cover a two-dimensional screen with three-dimensional images. Images that first come to life in his mind. We do live in our imagination a lot. We all have dreams every night. I know that even during the day when I'm awake and I'm in reality, you know, my mind sort of goes off into some kind of imaginary space and I sort of see images and they're, they're three-dimensional to me. Uh, I see things that may or may not exist. which leads me through my creative process to where ultimately maybe that will end up in a movie or as a prop or something that didn't exist. Trumbull relies on mathematics to translate these three-dimensional ideas to a flat screen. Because well, we're using... Mistaken, we're not actually, this is not actually offset. In mathematical form, a dream takes on precise dimension, right. which Trumbull well, can saying, manipulate. So if we left the vertical axis, the z-axis, the same, and say limited the x and the y to 24 inches, so you still have a full cubic space. On the ride simulator, seats move only 30 inches in each direction, you have, you have, you have but when Trumbull links area. this movement to action on the screen, he creates the illusion of flight. I have sort of a basic intuitive understanding of mathematics and geometry. Mathematics and numbers are behind everything I do. Trumbull's production team uses mathematics in countless ways. With it, they design and build scale models that appear vast to the camera's eye. They combine separate images into one seamless picture. They create computer models that look like the real thing. With mathematical precision, each piece fits together to create a believable reality. When the film is complete, the audience is no longer aware of the movie screen, but seems to fly in three-dimensional space. This illusion of depth is based on a mathematical idea that is centuries old. Before artists understood the geometry of perspective, paintings appeared flat and two-dimensional. In the 1400s, Italian painters discovered a way of giving their vision a new dimension. When the Italians figured out perspective, painting started becoming looking three-dimensional rather than two-dimensional. For me, as, a, as an artist, I had this revelation that happened to me when I was in art school, and suddenly I understood perspective. And that was revolutionary to me.